My name is Jeremy, and this review of Supernatural will be semi-adequate. Supernatural Season 11, Episode 15. If you didn't get that reference, I was trying to reference The Miz, who is in this episode, in fact. And Supernatural had wrestling in it. They even made a comparison that the life of a wrestler is exactly the same in general terms as a hunter. And Crowley got away from Lucifer and they found another Hand of God device. And there was wrestling in Supernatural. And you know what? It wasn't that great. This episode started the way that I usually don't like how episodes start. We've been spending a week looking at stuff and we can't find bupkis, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, oh, great, here we go. So they find out that uh, wrestlers that they like, that they watch with their dad, have been killed off. And so they go off to this funeral. They meet one of Dean's biggest wrestling fans. And seeing the brothers watch, look at these wrestlers and whatnot, that was really funny. Seeing Dean go up to him and shake his hand and be awkward and be like a kid again, that was funny. This episode did have a lot of humor, especially when Dean, to try and figure out if any of the wrestlers were demons or possessed, he got them all a shot of tequila and you can't, and Sam came back and he saw the aftermath that he drank with them and that was pretty funny. The fact that Dean then went on to finish the rest of that episode as hammers that he should have been, that was, that was the true test of impossibility in this episode. But also Crowley actually was able to get out of Lucifer's grasp. However, after a few minutes, I kind of was sitting there going, I think this is a ploy by Lucifer to let him, oh look, Lucifer comes in, it was a ploy all along. So Lucifer knew that Crowley knew where another hand of God was. However, Crowley gets there first. There is this great dialogue about the idea of the original double cross. That was funny. Okay, Crowley did have a moment. He had basically two moments in this episode. He had the, you can't handle my rod. That was hilarious. And you mastered the double cross. I mastered the double cross. That was also very funny. However, this episode as itself was very meh. That you saw that they try to throw in these things to really kind of tide you over for the next month because there's not another supernatural episode for a month from now. But they were really trying to just kind of tie you in, like kind of settle you to let you be okay for a month. And it's okay. But really, the idea of wrestlers was so cool, such a cool idea. And they actually were taking, they were actually seriously addressing it, like jobbing. They were actually using actual terminology. But then the fact that the main wrestler, the one who was having this deal with this Crossroads demon, used a Crossroads demon to get a belt for a week? What the? It's wrestling, dude! You would have been written into it! What the hell that that okay I know wrestling so the fact that they did this really made me like okay come on come on you were halfway real with it before and then you just went off in stupid land with this like this is this is dumb even by wrestling standards however there was a point where the Miz was offered a deal and I said my a joke to my brother I was like hey if he did that maybe he could beat John Cena So in the end, this episode had such great elements to it that could have been great. However, they just didn't really execute them well. And to be honest, this episode is literally just a tide over. It's a Passover until the show returns, which looks like it's a story episode. So I knew that this show would run out of awesome steam. And unfortunately it has, but obviously it will pick it back up again. But this episode really was not as entertaining as I thought it would be. And I kind of felt a little bit let down considering that Supernatural was actually going to talk about wrestling. So excited for that. So in the end, this episode gets a 3 out of 7. I'm sorry, but it's just, yeah, it was alright. It wasn't really that great. But the next episode looks pretty cool just from the preview that we've seen. So can't wait for Supernatural to return in a month, which obviously means that you won't see a review from me about the show for a month. But that actually is perfect because that gives me a week to watch both Daredevil and House of Cards Season 4. So... Anyway, see you guys later.